Okay, so what you're looking at here is my second attempt at a, a multi-stage motor uh, contained within the same casing. Uh, you've got two sections. They're both one inch point two five, so an in, they're an inch and a quarter uh, by ten inches. The bottom half, as I've labeled here, is Bates. There is a nozzle here. The bottom part is made out of Hartman's rock hard water putty. The top part of it is actually just quickcrete or the anchoring cement. And I just did that because I've used a lot of um, anchoring cement before and it works really well in the nozzles. The Hartman's uh, so far has not stood up as well against uh, high pressure motors anyway. But here there are four segments of Bates grains. They're two inches tall, inch and a quarter wide, three-eighths inch core going through them, and three-eighths, by the way, is also what the nozzle throat diameter is. At about this line right here, there's three-eighths inch worth of packed delay grain between the two. So the igniter lies somewhere right here. It's about an inch and a half long, and the idea is that from previous experience, these motors will burn out within two seconds. Uh, I do believe that under pressure the 3 8 grain is going to burn out at about the same, maybe a little bit sooner, but where this motor, the top part, is supposed to pressurize um, from the bottom up, I'm assuming it's going to take a little bit longer. This top part of the motor, the sustainer, is 10 inches long and the core is 3 8 so it's a 10 inch single uh, grain inhibited on the outside. Top side here on the bulkhead at about this line is where the delay grain starts. From the delay grain to the parachute deployment line is you're looking at about oh about an oh, about an inch and a quarter as well. So as long as this engine burns out in about two to two and a half seconds, the delay grain burns out in three to four seconds, and this powers up correctly this delay grain should not ignite until this motor is is nearly done burning out so I'm assuming that I'm going to get five to six seconds once this motor burns out to where this one actually is done and then there's about an inch and a half here of tracking smoke I hope and that's that's the overall picture the last time I attempted something like this it didn't go so hot but I didn't uh, design it as well either so that's the idea uh, feel free to give me your input Okay, so going back to this concept motor, uh, as part two of the commentary, uh, here's my concerns. Is uh, Concern number one is that the bottom uh, is made as a Bates grain, and that is by design because Bates is going to give you more initial boost, so that's the reason why it's on the bottom. Uh, that raises the concern that there are going to be four inhibitor sleeves, uh, one for each Bates, of course, and that once those are done burning out, the 3 8 delay grain burns through and pressurizes this motor up here, which is the single inhibited grain. My concern is that as the fire and the pressure is coming down and now occupying this part of the uh, casing, that these segments of inhibitor sleeve might be forced down and clog the nozzle, which, you know, could obviously present the uh, potential of a Cato. Uh, so concern number two is that where I have 3 8 inch of delay grain, um, what I want to happen, what's very important to happen is that the baits burns out and about the time they burn out that this delay grain has also burnt out as well. Um, if it's not going fast enough as it accelerates up, this could actually start to lean over and tilting the rocket and become more of a cruise missile, you know, and that's obviously not not what we're after. So that's that's a concern. Uh, the delay grain on the top for the parachute deployment is the you know least of my concerns here, but uh, that's why we static test. This is going to be on a shepherd's hook, 
and it's going to be an open air most of my test motors they actually bury in uh, gravel and insert into a, a a cinder block so the worst that can happen is if it catos it will eject the nozzle and you know the uh, the fuel gets spat out into uh, you know boulders and rocks where it won't do any damage whatsoever but uh, this one is going to be very important to actually observe because if it works I'll build one more and test one more if that one works I'll build a third one and launch it that's that's the general idea so uh, if anybody else has any ideas out there then uh, give me a shout